Hi there, Eric Back, a naturopath from New Zealand, author of Candida Crusher, formulator of the Canzita range of products. Thanks for checking out my video. We're going to talk about the best natural treatment for parasites like Dyntamoeba fragilis, but also for Blastocystis hominis, Giardia lamblia, Cryptosporidium, and, and various other bugs like that. Now, when you look at this video, no doubt you will have looked at many other videos I trust on the internet on parasites. You may have looked at some medical ones, you may have looked at some natural ones, and you may be here thinking, well, maybe this guy is going to tell me something that you know I need to know. Maybe he's going to tell me something that's crap or something uh, with good information, but I want to know what's the best natural treatment for this bug. Well, I could tell you one very important thing. Taking pills is no guarantee you're going to get rid of anything. So if you're going to look at this video and thinking just by taking a bunch of dietary supplements you're going to get rid of this bug, you haven't really got a hope in hell because you need to make changes on quite a few levels. If you want to get rid of this thing permanently, I don't like using the cure word, but if you want to eradicate a parasite from the body, you need to understand that just taking a drug like doxycycline, iodoquinil, secnidazole, but even just taking garlic with a high allicin extract or oregano oil with a high cavacrol content, anything like that at all. If you think you can just take something and like sort it, you're in fantasy land because it ain't going to happen. How, how can I sit there and say that, you, you say? What kind of a fool is this idiot with glasses on telling me this sort of information? Well, I can say it based on thousands of patients over nearly 30 years of experience. Right? I treat a lot of people with parasites. I've been long enough in the business to see a huge recurrence rate with people coming back again and again and again. I just had a look at a very interesting medical website where they say that the success rate, for example, on doxycycline and iodoquinol is very, very high. And you can read all these testimonials on the website. Now, the funny thing is, these are exactly the patients who come to see me after they've been on these pharmaceutical drugs for one or two rounds. I can't tell you how many people I've seen over the years that have taken a pharmaceutical drug and felt really well, and then it all turned to crap. And then they started getting abdominal pain and the gas again. And then they started looking for somebody else. And these are the cases that up at my doorstep. Then I've got to start thinking, how can I help this patient finally overcome this thing permanently? So it's usually only by adopting a, a combination you know, of multiple different aspects to put them in, in a protocol, you're going to get the result that you're looking for. So as I mentioned, just taking pills is not really going to create a permanent fix. Looking at boosting up your immune system is very clever. Looking at assessing what's going on in your digestive system uh, on a you know much more wider basis is very intelligent because many people who've got multiple, one or multiple parasites, will often also have very low levels of beneficial bacteria. They'll have bacteria that are going in transit from good to bad to ugly. They'll also have perhaps a yeast infection internally, one or multiple candida species or other kinds of species living inside their gut. You know, they may have other challenges like poor digestive enzymes. There could be inflammation. There could be elevated or depressed secretory IgA, you know, poor immune function. They could have a high uh, eosinophil count in the blood. You know, there could be lots of different things going on. So getting a comprehensive stool test is a smart thing to do if you've got parasites. You can go through many different kinds of labs. Uh, Genova Diagnostics or Doctor's Data tend to be the better labs uh, to get the stool test done. So if you suspect parasites and you've got tummy pain, you've got diarrhea or bloating or gas, you know, you've got something like that, uh, then you need to be, you know, on your toes and think, I need to do a full assessment and find out what's going on before you jump into natural treatment. Get all the facts. Get all the facts first. Make sure that things are assessed carefully and properly before, you know, you, you, know, you do that. All right? All the information is what you want, and then you can make an informed decision. Shooting from the hip is not a good idea. All right? So let's have a look at a natural treatment plan now for a bug like Dyntamoeba fragilis. How are you going to put this together? Well, my question to you if you were a patient would be how long have you been ill for? What kind of lifestyle have you got? What are the contributing factors that led to you getting this infection in the first place? What has your diet been like? You know what I mean? What is your occupation like? Do you travel a lot? Have you got good hygiene? 
Are you willing to make some changes in your lifestyle where changes need to be made? Can you stop drinking alcohol for 12 months? Can you stop traveling for several months? Sit yourself down in one spot so you can get well. Can you cut down on different kinds of stresses? Can you get rid of that crappy job that's not paying you enough money that's pissing you off? Mm -hmm. Start thinking about these kind of things because I want you to improve your immune system. I want your sleep to be improved. If you've got poor sleep, you'll never recover. If you've got high stress, you'll never recover. You can take all the pills you want. It's not going to work. All right? Or if it does work, it'll be a partial result. So remember, lifestyle will account for three quarters of recovery from parasites. Three quarters. And this could be one of the reasons, again, why people who take even a pharmaceutical don't quite get the, you know, the long-term effect they're looking for. Because they took the pill for the ill and they kept on doing the same stuff they were doing and they came back. And I've seen it not just once, not twice. I've seen it hundreds of times with people that they went to the trouble of taking a pharmaceutical, getting the result they were looking for, but it didn't hold long enough. Now, the other thing that you need to learn with parasites is I think that a very important aspect of treatment that's totally overlooked, not just with natural treatment, but we commonly find this with medical treatment, they'll get one round of drugs and they'll expect it to be finished. Well, it's not going to happen because parasites are very clever. You can knock them down, but they come back up again. And this is what I call the sucker punch. Or when you've hit something hard, you wait a little while, then you hit it hard again. How many times have you seen a movie? Uh, well, if it's women watching this, they probably wouldn't have seen this. But if you're a guy watching this, how many times have you seen a film when the bad guy got knocked down and he's lying on the ground and then the guy who hit him thinks, yes, I've won. But then all of a sudden the bad guy comes up with a knife or a gun and bang, he gets the good guy. Well, that's what parasites do. You knock them down, they th you think they're down, but they turn around, they bite you in the butt. So I think a very smart move, with, which from experience works well for me, is to treat the patient for a six-week block and then wait probably about 14 days and then do the sucker punch, hit them again, Okay, it's a very clever approach that works well for a lot of people and this tends to put the bugs at rest for a long time. I use it successfully for Helicobacter pylori infection, Cryptosporidium, Dientamoeba, Pseudomonas, Blastocystis, many different types of bugs when I encounter. I find it works more so for uh, parasites than it does for Candida. With Candida, I think it's best just to keep treating, 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 treating and then back off treatment. And then maybe you can do another treatment phase, but with parasites you do that double whammy. It tends to work quite well. So just think about that. Treatment, getting a result, backing off treatment, and then treating hard again. Okay. And there are different types of, of products that you can use for uh, Dientamoeba frigilis and Blasto. But I want you to consider the Canzida Remove product that I've created. It's been working very, very well for a lot of people now for different types of bugs. We've actually seen this by doing stool tests pre and post. We've seen huge reductions in numbers, incredibly good results when a person, person's taken this for two months, um, especially when the dosages are around about the two or three tablets per day, in conjunction with raw garlic, maybe some additional oregano, Maybe some additional grapefruit seed extract, depending on how bad the infection is. Uh, it's working quite well indeed. At the same time, you're doing the, uh, the anti-treatment. I think it's also good to take an enzyme probiotic supplement. Nearly all people with dientamoeba need digestive support. So the Kenzita Restore contains the enzymes and the probiotics, which are greatly going to assist things like gas and bloating. They'll improve the appetite. They'll improve the, the bowel function quite a lot. Well, the Kenzita removal will help to cleanse the gut and not just get rid of the, the dientamoeba, but also suppress candida because it's a very broad spectrum antimicrobial product that should work quite well for you. So I'll talk more a little bit more about the Kenzita products a bit later on in another video. So that's the best natural treatment, a good balance between lifestyle and diet and supplementation. It's the best way to permanently eradicate um, any kind of parasite you've got in your body is by really looking you know, at the overall picture and to see what, what you can fix up in your life. 
Well, it's just a matter of popping a pill and thinking, well, this will fix it up. It's a waste of time. Thanks for tuning in.